coronavirus misinformation spread rapidly and without restraint, splashed across the Internet, repeated on news networks and even endorsed by politicians like Marjorie Taylor Greene. Twitter has permanently banned the personal account of Georgia Republican Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene. The company confirmed to CNN that Taylor Greene was banned for, quote, repeated violations of our COVID misinformation policy. However, her congressional account remains online. The Congresswoman, of course, has a very long history of tweeting out conspiracy theories and misinformation, and she has been suspended temporarily by Twitter in the past. But this time, for one of her accounts, it is a permanent suspension by Twitter. The tweet that the Congresswoman sent out that um, prompted this permanent suspension included a misleading graph that purportedly uh, showed uh, deaths related to the COVID-19 vaccine. The Congresswoman in that tweet claiming that those deaths due to the vaccine has been ignored, which notably is misleading. I'm Ravana, and welcome back to Rebel HQ. Another one bites the dust. Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene's personal Twitter account has been banned from the platform for her spreading of COVID-19 misinformation. This is what she had to say about that. The congresswoman responding to this Twitter suspension by blasting big tech. She said in part in a statement last night, quote, social media platforms can't stop the truth from being spread far and wide. Big tech can't stop the truth. Communist Democrats can't stop the truth. I stand with the truth and the people we will overcome. I just can't get over the irony of Marjorie Taylor Greene claiming that she stands for the truth while lying through her teeth. In the tweet that resulted in Marjorie Taylor Greene being banned from Twitter, the congresswoman claimed that there is an abundance of deaths due to the vaccine that are being ignored. She cited to the Vaccine Adverse Event Reporting System, or VAERS, to justify her claim. However, VAERS' own website says, VAERS reports alone cannot be used to determine if a vaccine caused or contributed to an adverse event or illness. The reports may contain information that is incomplete, inaccurate, coincidental, or unverifiable. Now I urge you to look through the VAERS data because some of it is honestly quite funny. I found a woman who reported finding a large bald spot on her head after getting vaccinated for COVID, a man who simply wrote anal leakage, and possibly the best one, a man who reported that after receiving the Pfizer vaccine, his penis swelled to 10 times its size. Yes, people really can just go on this website and report anything. However, this VAERS data can be extremely harmful when it's being weaponized by individuals with an immense amount of power to justify not getting vaccinated for COVID-19. She still has a large reach and will most likely be going on every conservative news show to blast the same lies that got her banned from Twitter. If you haven't gotten the vaccine yet, I urge you to get it. If you haven't gotten your booster and you're eligible, I urge you to go get your booster. Do your part, protect yourself, and protect your community. And don't get your news from the Jewish space laser lady. 